video what toothpaste ingredients I take and how to make it and adjust it to some special needs that you might have. So toothpaste everyone, um, what's our toothpaste? It is this one and as you can see it's not paste but powder. I made this choice to use tooth powder instead of toothpaste um, because of the convenience of traveling. Um, when you go in an airplane you're not allowed to bring paste above a certain amount, it cannot be in a glass jar, so and this powder can easily uh, be transferred into a small plastic container to take on the airplane. Then we have the paste, and this is the paste currently, it's almost finished. This one is my little son's Kion. Kion made his own toothpaste, and when we did that, he was four. I made this with a lot of school children in the school with products from the school and the products that I bought for it. So if a four-year-old can do it, you can do it, right? Now, what's in there? First of all, um, in there is chalk, which is calcium carbonate. See, I wrote it down. Second one I put in there is mm, sodium by carbonate and that is this stuff baking soda so I've got baking soda in there there are people who use baking soda only but I won't recommend that because it really can bite your teeth and bite your gums it's very alkaline and it does alkalize your mouth but if you brush with it and push it really in there especially when it's not 30 minutes after eating or uh, your teeth are a little soft right now uh, in this period of time don't use baking soda only you want the softening ingredients as well so um, besides calcium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate I have in there clay and for this toothpaste I choose bentonite clay and you only need on this jar one teaspoon of bentonite clay Bentonite clay is used to um, detoxify your intestines as well. It will absorb toxins and it will neutralize acidity. It's full of minerals, which are also very good. Uh, so calcium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate and bentonite clay. You can use a different clay if you are um, in an area where you have different brands like zeolite or Fertorgeel, which is like a green clay. All these clays that are used to clean your intestines, which are used for eating, are harvested with body-friendly products. So you can choose any one of those. Uh, I like bentonite a lot, so that's why I have that one. So third in here, as well as this one and this one, both have charcoal. So this one is a little charcoal. Charcoal is really good to absorb uh, anything that um, makes your teeth color. So I have to, I think I have to use it a little bit more. <laughs> um, this one has a lot of charcoal. At school we had Noret, which is Judge brand with capsules of charcoal in there and some products to let it stay dry. So it's not the most pure, perfect charcoal in the world but it is a good product and it is uh, friendly for your body so you can choose that it is available everywhere so very good to find it do you want to take it up or not then you can take coconut uh, yeah so I think it's the coconut it's the outside of the coconut charcoal and I've got one that's super super fine and powdery and that's the one I use for here so you want all these products to have no little rocks or grinding things in there. You want it all to be very soft. If your toothpaste is too, uh, is, is too hard, it's, it stings you, it hurts you, add more of the fine powder, so the calcium carbonate. Well, in my powder there are herbs and essential oils as well. In this one I put in Heal All Tea Herbs. I bought them, they're Dr. Robert Morse's product. I use Heal Tea for drinking, so that would be 
was convenient for me at the time. Um, I just put the tea in my blender and blended it until it was very fine, powdery and put it in there. This will really heal your gums. This will really heal your gums fast. So the more of that tea in there, the more, and not the tea itself, huh? not the, uh, the extract, but the herbs. So the Heal All Tea herbs. Especially for your uh, sensitive teeth, go low on the baking soda, add more ca calcium, add more herbs. So somebody asked me, how do you keep it? Well, how do I keep it? I keep it with essential oils. You can choose a flavor. I have a box here with uh, different kinds like incense. I wouldn't use that, it doesn't taste that well. Thyme, I made toothpaste with thyme ones, which was really, really great. Um, don't use too much, go very slow and low. You don't wanna ruin your toothpaste by adding too much essential oils. They might even hurt you. So be very careful with that. Like one drop on a whole jar is already a lot. So we have tea tree, um, which is good for killing bacteria, fungus. So if you have thrush or your baby child has thrush, you can use tea tree. It might be a bit harsh, so you might want to dilute it with some olive oil first or some coconut oil first before you mix it in your toothpaste. And of course, there is peppermint, the mint or mint that is used in common toothpastes. And well, people who are used to this taste, so you might want to go with that. Um, to make sure that your essential oils are to be used on your skin or inside, it comes with this leaflet, so inside it says um, what the allergens are, what the, what, um, the properties are that uh, help you, and it says also if it can be used on your skin or you can eat it or not. So please do that before you add any essential oils. So which one did I put in here? Um, I put in here, I think the orange. So I don't want to like really brand you on this video. I'm not selling any of this. Um, but if you want to know which uh, brand I recommend, I like this one, which is um, I think from France. And they are, um, most of them are organic. And yeah, so it says here organic, which is better for the environment, better for your oils, better for the, all the bugs and bees and everything that lives there. So um, they come from France and well, for the Netherlands, that's pretty close by. Yeah. Um, that's it. So if you have tooth pain, tooth ache, tooth inflammation, and you want to sedate it a little bit, then you can use this one, oh, this one, which is an essential oil. It says Eugenia Caro Vitalia, so you know which is like the real, the real name. Well, sure, if there's so many names on there, there must be something in your language there. So it's close. And before we had anesthetics used at the dentist, they used cloves essential oil. So um, just to get through the night or wait to get over the past the time before you go to the dentist, you can use um, this one. Then if you really have a toothache and there is like an inflammation in your tooth and you feel, oh no, I really have to go and oh no, I don't want them drilling. I especially don't want root canal. I do recommend other remedies than using essential oils and products. I really do recommend that you find yourself a really good healer like a Teta healer or someone with uh, like Merkaba healer, someone with a a track record that can help you heal the situation and find the root cause 
and have an instant healing there and help you get maybe help you get on with um, like a long-term solution for that so I've held, helped uh, Kian and Johan with acute pains um, well they actually they have cured themselves so it wasn't me they yes. got rid of the pain themselves it was just me talking them through it so if you really have that um, yeah please reach out to me or any Teta healer or Merkaba healer with a track record around your area to help you get rid of the root cause right away. And you know what to do if it's getting really bad. Go to your dentist or doctor whenever necessary. Thank you for being in my video about this natural toothpaste. I'm going to show you what's in mine for the last time. And I hope it's valuable for you. If you like this video, just give it a thumbs up if you're on YouTube and click subscribe in the bottom to follow all my videos from now on. Have a really nice day.